What's going on, everybody? You're tuned into another episode of the Music Mastery Podcast with your host, Lizzie the Gifted. Basically, what I do on this podcast is I'm just coming to you live and direct from the journey of an independent musician. I do a brand new episode every single day on audio, new video episode four times a week. Got it? So I'm not trying to tell you I know more than you. Maybe I do, but you probably know more than me about a lot of stuff, right? I know uh, uh, we talk about marketing, we talk mindset, we'll probably talk about books. I might do updates, you know, tell you about my life. That's it, okay? And yeah, I sell beats, yeah, I do coaching, but if you if you wanna be a part of that stuff, you can let me know. Um, if not, no worries. You can get some free value out of this content that I do every single day. If you get value from the episode, subscribe to the YouTube channel, hit the bell notification, and of course, if you're on the podcast, subscribe, leave a rating, leave a review. So, here's what I want to talk about. Specific, today, I want to talk about Instagram's new update. Now, we're going to circle it on back around to what I always talk about, right? And if this is your first time listening, I'll reiterate some stuff uh, for you because it's your first time, but... Here's what's going on right now with Instagram, right? Instagram, if you check it out, I'm gonna pull out my phone just so I have that reference point, but if you check out Instagram right now, the part on the bottom of your screen where you would usually check likes, comments, and friend requests and stuff like that, or follows, whatever, friend requests is Facebook, follows is now shopping? I don't know, like I checked it, like I was like on it last night, I was like, well let me check my likes, and I looked, I was like, what the hell is this? And it's shop, Instagram shop, where now, this chain's actually hella fresh. Where now it's basically turned into an entire shopping platform. And you could check your likes and stuff up at the top on the right hand corner. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a fan. I don't know if it's good or bad for Instagram. I'm not up that high enough to know. I'm just looking at it from a from a standpoint of Instagram is really pushing the buy things from this platform narrative and it's I don't know to me maybe I'm reading into it too much but to me it's showing me that Instagram isn't really much about the content creators as it is about their own pocketbooks which by the way that's no knock to Instagram like that's every social media platform that's every platform and uh, you know what I'm gonna say this too let's talk about the Spotify thing too I'll probably do another video talking about Spotify, but I don't know if you know what happened with Spotify recently, but like basically Spotify is offering to push your song out in their algorithm more by taking more of a cut of your streaming money. So like like what what they're doing is like, we're gonna cut the amount of money you get uh, from streaming even more than you're already getting and in exchange we'll get you more exposure. So like, both of those to me have a huge problem. I mean, both of those are showing that these are corporations, which by the way, no knock to corporations. I'm not one of those people who like hates on the 1%. All I'm saying is, you guys gotta understand the game you're playing. The game we're playing is independent musicians. Those companies want their pocketbooks to get bigger. They don't care about you. So when we talk entrepreneurship, when we talk about us being entrepreneurial musicians, when we talk about us being gifted leaders, You are relinquishing control of your process when you put so much emphasis on Instagram and on Spotify. And on TikTok. TikTok right now is doing pretty good for creators, but they're eventually, you know, they have advertisements on there, but you know, maybe TikTok ends up being the most organic platform, but eventually they are going to, you never know, eventually they might end up being a platform that isn't good for creators. Like right now, it's good, but it might change. So. Where do we go? This is why I talk about email lists and email marketing. And if you want more information about how to grow your email list, there's another video that I've done where I talk. It's literally called Email Marketing for Musicians. You could look at it there. Um, I'm not gonna repeat, it's a long process, but essentially, when you give somebody something of value in exchange for their email address and their name, they're on your email list. And you can use websites like ClickFunnels. You can use websites like Wix. You can use Squarespace. You can use... Um, System.io and those are websites that where you can build the web pages and then you can use things like MailChimp or Aweber to actually house your email marketing campaigns. But that's like how you do email marketing and the reason I'm telling you guys about this stuff is because it's essential that you get people off of Instagram and off of Spotify. Why don't I like growing Spotify? 
Well, here's a reason I just we just shared the new update is is showing clearly that they're just going to start giving out exposure to people who all they have to do is say that they'll take less money. Now maybe there's more details in it. I haven't done enough research, but that's what it sounds like to me and um so like what? So now we just get people with trashier music out into our playlist even. I mean, maybe they're just opening it up to a few people, but the point of what I'm saying is when you're on these platforms, you don't have control of your process. Why would you want to focus so much attention on it, right? I was just talking to my manager, Robin, today. We talk every single week, and from the beginning of our talks, we're talking about our plan going into 2021. I said, Robin, my focus for 2021 is not to grow on Spotify. My focus for 2021 is to grow my email list. Now, today, we did discuss Spotify. We talked about what would it be like if we had a 14-day plan, and we looked. she made an amazing 14-day plan, and we talked about it. But then at the end of it all, we talked about the whole Spotify update and we talked about this exact thing and we were like, yeah, we don't really know if we should grow on Spotify. I said, look, Robin, here's what we'll do. Our first launch, let's do this. Let's let's play with this and let's let let's try to, let's try a Spotify 14 day thing. Even though I know I'm talking bad about Spotify, I said let's try it. Let's see what happens because I'm not the type to say something and not at least try it. So let's try a Spotify launch. But the next month, let's grow our email list. That's what matters, you guys. And both of these brand new updates to Instagram and Spotify is more proof to you that why are you focused on these platforms that much? It's not the most important part of your process. It's how do, how do you get fans to come back over and over and over again? How do you attract new fans? That's what we're focused on. now. You're probably wondering like, Lee, how do you get new fans? How do you attract new people? Well, there's a number of ways you can do that. Number one is organic, number two is paid. If you wanna do organic traffic, that's great. I, I, I do both of those things. I do both, I do organic and I do paid traffic. Organic traffic is, is, is really difficult, but couple, there's three ways to get organic traffic. I really should do a brand new video on this, but it's fine, I'll just throw it in here right now. There's three ways to get organic traffic. Number one is you make content. Number two, making content, and that's a whole video on how to make content, which I should do. But number one, make con. I'm gonna I'm gonna literally write this down. Hold on. Number one is make content. I'm gonna literally like put. I'm gonna make another video on this that's even more extensive. Um, three aspects to organic traffic for musicians, okay? But number one is content, number two is outreach, and number three you could say is shout outs. You could say that. But basically, content, um, outreach is you one-on-one -on -one talking to people on a one-to-one -one basis, and then shout outs, you guys are probably thinking, oh, I'll get a shout out on Instagram from a big influencer. No, shout outs is like, you do a shout outs or collaborations, where you get with somebody who has a big enough audience to where you know they will shout you out because you guys do a piece of content together, or, Podcast. You could get on really small podcasts and get interviewed, and and um, it's not that hard to find podcasts. You could literally type music podcast on Instagram. You could type hip hop podcast. You could type pop music podcast. You could type folk music podcast, and just find these little podcasts and find blogs and just start reaching out to people one to one. And then once you get on those platforms and you get shouted out, boom, there you go. You might get some traffic to your music. That's organic. Now, paid traffic is using like Facebook ads or uh, and or Instagram ads or YouTube advertising or Google ads. We're not gonna get into all that. If you wanna learn more about Facebook advertising, I have a video called Facebook Ads for Musicians. You can go check it out. I, I break it down. I could break it down more in depth with a screen recording, but that's the concept, right? So the point of what I'm trying to say to you guys is you need to start controlling how things happen. If you just post stuff on Instagram and hope for the best, and you just post on your story and hope for the best, that's not a strategy. That's not smart. It's not a good thing to do, right? And and I'm not the first one to say this. I don't want you to think that I'm a genius for saying this because I'm definitely not. Like the, everybody on YouTube who's a music marketer says that stuff. I'm just stating the obvious. What I'm trying to tell you is I myself am an independent musician. Like I am a rapper, right? I know what I'm talking about. I, I'm in the, I've been in the trenches for 10 years. Got it? So I would highly suggest, you know, if you want to get more information about this stuff, I think the best place to go, it's a lot of channels. There's a lot of ways to go. Um, 
My manager Robin and I have been consuming Damian Keys a lot. He's solid. You know, I'm gonna just get. I'm gonna give him props. I think Damian Keys has got a solid channel, and I think he's got a solid membership. Like we're in his membership program right now, and it's really good. And Robin and I are really feeling it. We like it. Um, so I, I think that's a good program. That's a newer program that I've been exposed to. I'm like, hey, Damian Keys is he's cool. He's got he's got good stuff going on. Uh, he's very practical, you know, straight to the point. So I, I would go look into him. But you know, the idea is the is the Instagram and Spotify updates and how how that can really affect you in a negative way. You know what I'm saying? So don't get it twisted. I think that you can use those platforms for what their purpose is, but just solely relying on those things isn't important you know let's take take 2021 because 2021 is coming up take 2021 let's just say let's imagine like today the date is november 13th 2020 let's say it's november 13th 2021 what do you want to see happen you know are you gonna look back and go wow i have a hundred thousand spotify streams like is that a win because a hundred thousand spotify streams isn't even close to getting you paid but what if you look back and go, wow, I have an email list of people I can reach out to all the time that are super loyal and want to hear from me. Doesn't that sound better? Because then going into 2022, you could, you could, I, this is what I'm doing. I'm just telling you what I'm going to do. You can do whatever, go do whatever you want. But this is what I'm doing. 2021, our plan is to build my email list as a rapper as much as possible. Okay, I have an email list as a producer where I have a bunch of rappers who want beats. Those people aren't interested in my music though. Maybe they are, but that's not what they're there for. They're there for beats and production. I wanna build an email list of people who are strictly interested in my music and my brand and like what I do and as a musician. And that's all 2021 is. Build that, build that, build that. Probably plug in some revenue streams like a, like a Patreon and merchandise and I don't know if live shows are going to come back. I'm doubting it, so I'm not even thinking about that. But if they do, I'll do live shows as well. But build that email list big. And by the time 2022 comes, I bet live shows will be back. But I have no idea. But 2022 comes around, we might have live shows again. And I'm going to have an email list that's big enough to be like, all right, now let's start growing on Spotify. We're going to pitch people. Now we're going to start growing on Spotify. Now we're going to start growing on YouTube and things of that nature. You know what I mean? That's where we start doing that. But so for me, it's build my house, build my people, build my my party, right? Build my community. And then we'll start pitching things that we want to pitch like Spotify. Why do you want to pitch to Spotify? In my opinion, for me, why I would want to grow a Spotify following is strictly for brand deals. It's strictly for deals. It's, you know, if I want to partner with a label, I'm like, look at my Spotify streams. You know what I mean? Not get signed to a label because I'm probably not going to get signed to a label. I'm probably, I'm probably, I'm not looking to do that. But I'm saying, you know, if we go into, you know, some kind of a deal to where we want to partner up with a label and we want to show proof of what we have, we could be like, well, look at this, look at this, look at this. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But there is going to be a time when Spotify is going to be, well, Spotify is where people listen to music. You know what I mean? People aren't going to download MP3s and then put it onto their phone and then listen to it. They're going to listen on Spotify. So I want to use Spotify because that's for the consumer. I'm using Spotify because I want the consumers to have the most convenient way of listening to my music. That's why I would use Spotify. It's more of a tracking tool. It's not like a growth tool. I'm not looking at Spotify as this is where I grow. I'm looking at Spotify as this is how I track who's listening to me. I'm not trying to grow, just grow on Spotify. You know what I mean? I'm trying to grow my email list. That's the point. So I think I'm beating a dead horse at this point. Um, the Spotify and Instagram updates, I think, personally prove my point and it proves every other marketer's point talking about growing your email list. Got it? So if you got any value out of the episode, subscribe to the YouTube channel, hit the bell notification, and of course, subscribe to the channel, uh, subscribe to the podcast, leave a rating, leave a review. Before you go, I want to let you know that we have a contest going on and it's going to end on November 18th. All you got to do is on Instagram, shout out the podcast, tag me and tag two of your friends on your story and or your news feed and you have the chance to win a one hour coaching call with me for free. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in and for watching and listening and I will talk to you again soon. Peace.